Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our commander, Colonel Andrew Esch, and his command, Sergeant Major Dan Smill, welcome to tonight's program featuring the Army Blues. This is the uh, second night of performances, even the performances, here at the American Trombone Workshop. And uh, we're just so happy that you guys were able to make it out here and uh, be with us tonight. Uh, how many uh, students do we have in the audience? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, good bit of you guys. Trombonists? You guys are trombonists as well? Awesome. I'm a euphonium player, so I have much love for you guys. And uh, how many servicemen and women do we have in the audience? we have any? Awesome. Thank you for your service, and thanks for coming out. And everybody, yeah, please. Yeah. So before we get started, uh, I have to, have to share this moment with you guys. Um, this is a very special night for the Army Blues. We, we have two trombonists who are leaving us. Uh, this is their last American uh, trombone workshop. And I just wanted to recognize them before we start the program. Our first uh, person, we have uh, Master Sergeant Jeff Cortazzo. Yes. yes. He'll be leaving us with uh, over 26 years of service in the Army. And uh, we just want to thank him for his, if you know Jeff, he is a amazing bass trumb trombonist and uh, he's just been a staple for this this organization so <laughs> yeah you see he's a, he's a wise guy but um but yeah we just uh really really um are gonna miss this guy uh we also have uh sergeant major matt niece yes. yeah. And he'll be leaving us with over 30 years of service um, here in the spring. Yes, yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> so again, thank you for your service, and uh, we're going to miss you guys. So uh, back to the show. Uh, so we have a web page, usarmyband.com. Please check that out. Uh, let us you know, let you know our, our events coming up and let you know a little bit about the U.S. Army Band. Uh, there's also a patron survey up there. If you like the show or you just want to give us feedback, please leave us a comment. Um, our bosses, they really uh, appreciate your feedback on our performances. Uh, so moving on, uh, I just want to just say that uh, thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, it's just we enjoy playing for folks who really love jazz because you love jazz, right? Yeah, 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 so, but you're going to get a lot of it tonight. So without further ado, my name is Chief Warrant Officer 2, Jaquel Smalls, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you the United States Army Blues. <laughs>
I'm sorry, Luke Brimhall on the trombone. One of the newest members of the United States Army Blues. All right, so welcome everyone to uh, the Thursday night jazz night of the American Trombone Workshop. It's, uh, it's our pleasure to play for you tonight, and we are going to feature, uh, as you, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but we don't really have a guest artist. In the past, we've had a guest artist, one, usually one singular uh, guest artist, but tonight we have four guest artists, and you're looking at them right here on the bandstand. So um, we're going to feature them tonight, and uh, we're going to move right along with a great uh, tune uh, by the saxophonist Joe Henderson. This was arranged by uh, Sergeant Major Matt Neese. It's entitled "It's Shade of Jade. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Shade of Jade, Shade of Jade. Master Sergeant Matt Neese on the arrangement. I'm sorry, Sergeant Major. You just got demoted. Master Sergeant Graham Breedlove on the trumpet. That also featured uh, one of the newest members. In fact, he might be the, the newest member of the band. No? Ah, oh, we have so many newest members of the band. Well, uh, one of the newest members of the band is Eric Purse on the drums. Eric Purse on the drums. <laughs> All right, we're going to move right along with the next uh, piece. We're going to feature Sergeant Major Matt Neese. This is his last, very last ATW as a member of the United States Army Blues. And so uh, we're going to feature Matt on uh, this really fine arrangement of the old standard, How Deep is the Ocean? Sergeant Major Matt Neese on the trombone. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Sergeant Major Matt Neese on the trombone. So as I mentioned earlier, um, these guys are our guest artists tonight. They, they've been in this band for, I don't know, a long time, really long time, probably a little bit too long. <laughs> but as, a, as a, a former player that we had was, uh, uh, like to say, all's well that ends. <laughs> so uh, he's gone. But now, seriously, these guys are awesome. This, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better trombone section uh, really in the world. This are, these guys are, are top-notch at what they do. Yeah, give them, give them a big hand. Not only, not only are they great musicians, they're just really, they're, they're super fun to hang out with, and they're just great people. You know, they're super humble, well, for the most part, and uh, they're, they're kind of humble. Okay, I'll, I'll correct that. They're kind of humble, and, uh, which is good for, for brass guys, right? I mean, normally, you know, that's, that's pretty good. It's a good bargain. Uh, guys who can really play the instrument and, and be sort of humble, that's, that's, that's all right. Um, anyway, I better shut up. All right, we're going to move on. And we're going to feature another uh, uh, very talented and very bald uh, trombonist. <laughs> Sergeant First Class Victor Barranco on the trombone. And this is going to be uh, this is a, a tune entitled The Peaceful Key Muncher, written and arranged by our illustrious guitarist, Michael Kramer. We hope you enjoy The Peaceful Key Muncher. Thank you. 
Victor Barranco on the trombone. Victor Barranco. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Michael Kramer on the guitar. <laughs> and you know what? On that last uh, the piece we played before this, uh, uh, How Deep is the Ocean, I was uh, I neglected to, to mention that uh, we featured our actual newest person in the band, right? The, the newest person as of today, the newest person in the band, uh, James Collins on the piano. <laughs> All right, so this next piece we're going to do has a really funny story. I'm just not allowed to tell it. <laughs> it's arranged by, actually it's written and arranged by Matt Neese. It's called not on the bus. So let your imagination do the work. We're going to feature some guys on this tune. We hope you enjoy Not on the Bus.
Master Sergeant Graham Breedlove on the trumpet, not on the bus. Also featuring James Collins on the piano. So we met James, we met Michael, uh, we met Eric, Tapper Purse. Uh, the guy we haven't met tonight is um, playing the big bass and holding everything down. This is Sergeant First Class, Reagan Bruff. <laughs> All right. So this next tune we're going to do is going to feature another one of our guest artists. Uh, he's actually uh, very new in the band, very green. He's still learning uh, the job. And he's trying to figure out you know, where, where his place is in the band and what kind of band we are. So um, it's, really, it's, really, it's really a puzzle to figure out, this guy. You know. <laughs> but he's doing a great job. He's sounding great. And uh, he's, he's one of the best and brightest additions to the band so far, uh, along with you know, our rhythm section guys. You know, they're, they're good, too. But this is a trombone workshop. So, I mean, the best guys are trombone, right? They play trombone. Of course. All right, so we're going to feature uh, Luke Bramhall on a great tune, uh, a st standard entitled Along Together, uh, which is actually arranged by a fine trombonist uh, in his own right, Paul McKee. Uh, so if you, got, if you all are familiar with Paul McKee, he writes, he's a wonderful trombonist, and he's a fabulous arranger. This is his arrangement of Alone Together.
Luke Brimhall, Luke Brimhall on the trombone, alone together. What a beautiful sound. Wow, Luke, kill it. All right, so uh, this next piece we're going to do <laughs> features a very special member of our trombone section. There's just, you know, uh, there's just no, no replacing some people. So even though we're, we're going we're gonna to have a new bass trombone player you know, this time next year, but it, it won't, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold your applause, hold, hold your applause, feel the love, but even though he's going to be a new bass drum player, it, it, it won't be a replacement for Jeff Cortazzo. Uh, Jeff is a special guy in many, many ways, and uh, he keeps us entertained, and he keeps that low, that low uh, sound, vibrating in the band and we love it and uh, it's just been 
an awesome privilege for me to be a part of an ensemble with him on bass trombone. Um, uh, so he's a great, great guy, great friend. And we're going we're gonna to feature him on this tune, also written and arranged by Sergeant Major Matt and Nice. Uh, we've come up with several different uh, names for this piece, but we're just going to stick with the original because it's the most user uh, audience friendly. Um, it's the nicest title. Uh, it's, it's entitled Jeff's Trombone Mambo. This is going to feature Jeff Cortazzo on the bass trombone. Oh, it's also going to feature a few of our other talented, uh, multi-talented instrumentalists. Antonio Orta is going to play congas. <laughs> muy autentico, muy autentico. Thank you. 
Jeff's trombone mambo. Jeff Cortazzo on the bass trombone. Antonio Orta on the congas. And we also heard a snippet of a, of a new trumpet player in the, in, the, in the blues, Josh Kaufman. Oh, those jokers tricked me. Oh, well, I, I thought you sounded kind of fair for that solo. Anyway. I don't know who played that solo, whatever. All right, so... Uh, I got to tell you, that, that chart, I love that chart. Um, at first, I hated it, but I really like it, and um, it's just one of those charts that can really go on forever, and we can have a lot of fun with it, you know? We had to do the concert, you know, like the Brucker Hall version of it, but if we ever get a chance to play that out somewhere and, you know, in their, on a real civ civilian's gig, we should like, open it up and really have fun with it. Matt and East can really write for the brass. I'll tell you, this guy's an amazing, amazing arranger. Awesome. Woo! Whenever I write a chart, all I write is a bunch of saxophone notes, and I'm, like, hoping I hit, you know, somewhere in the, in the ballpark with the brass guys. But this guy can really kill it with the brass players, I'll tell you. He's a, what a pro. What a pro. All right, so uh, for this last piece we're going to do, I'm going to hand the microphone over to uh, Victor Bronco to introduce this and, uh, and take us out for the rest of the evening. So, so personally, I have to say that um, a concert full of trombone solos is way better than hearing any sax solos and trumpet solos. Right? So, I mean, I mean, in real reality, we we get about we get about at least maybe one solo, and and you know the the three of us have to fight over. Oh, sorry, sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Actually, actually, you know what? Since uh, this is Jeff's last time with the with the band. Jeff, can you actually take a picture of the trombone section? Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, so, so every year we do uh, the National Solo Jazz Competition, and uh, this year we had all the, all the finalists that came up were amazing, and, uh, but there can be two winners, and every year we have the, the winners come and join us on the last tune. And so this year, uh, the two winners for Division One, Division Two um, was Jack Courtright from the Eastman School of Music and Drew Kilpla from uh, Michigan State University. And actually, you heard Drew playing the cowbell in the back. You probably heard him. You saw like a little guy dancing in the background. Uh, he was, so I guess he's already soloed with us. So gentlemen, are you back there? Come on out. In addition to these uh, fine young musicians, we are also going to invite uh, two other musicians, one from New York City and the other one from Los Angeles, uh, Nick Finzer from New York City and the great Alex Isles from Los Angeles. So we're going to play um, a composition called Rapid Transit, uh, composed by Jim McFalls, he's, a, he's, he's an amazing jazz trombonist around, uh, around here. He teaches at Towson University. And um, this is an, uh, it's a B-flat rhythm changes chart. Guys, we're going to take it up a half step, if that's cool. OK, yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> so uh, here's rapid transit. Look, they got me again. I actually sat on it this time. You know, if they were actually my friends, they would use a rounded plunger. But this is this is this is too. That hurts. Thank you. 
Thank you for coming out. United States Army Blues. <laughs> 